My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb, joined by Trout and his friends. Whatever he's about. Hanging out with the fish. Frogs and a fish, we'll call it. How are you? James, I'm Will. How are you doing? We're in a lot of layers. That time of year, it got cold last week. That stunk. Usually you wear your Rangers jersey, it means you're like... This isn't a Rangers jersey. Oh. You don't know what this is. Okay. I'm going to a hockey game tonight. Ooh, what game? Rather not talk about it. How was your weekend? Freezing. Five degrees. Too cold. Didn't like that. Yeah. It's too cold. I tried to get you going on the cold. You stoned me, and then you were bottling your own cold. I didn't like it. Fuck, it's, it's a cold. What happened in the sports? Freeze me. Any big news? Can you do that? Jim, it's Super Bowl week. We'll get there. Uh, and it comes a little somber start. The GOAT, Tom Brady, is retiring again. Again. Uh, he did a nice video himself on the beach. You know, very meta. I broke up with my ex-girlfriend, Steph, on a beach. Um, someone went to the beach, bottled the sand, and now they're selling it. It's up to 100K, and there's six days left on eBay, so it could be yours. Oh, it hasn't been purchased yet, so they can just back out? We'll see. So it's not actually going to get sold for 100K. Smart move by that woman. Someone's going to get stuck by spending some sort of money on there. Right. You can win on eBay and just... Oh, but it hurts your rating. Jimmy. Remember when he retired last year and people like bought his the last touchdown pass he ever threw, and then they bought it for so much money, and he unretired and threw more Tough. this year. That's a bummer. Should sue. I got his first retirement last touchdown ball. Yeah. You're at a dinner party, and you're like, oh, oh. leave me alone. But speaking about being too old to play, oh. this almost a breakdown is a great one. Tell me about this almost a breakdown, Jim. Everyone's dream. 22-year-old oh. Alicia Boykins. You're fresh. You're young. Assistant coach of the Churchland Junior Varsity Truckers girls basketball team. Good team. One of the players couldn't make the game. Right. They were short a player. Mm. So assistant coach Alicia... She suits up. Yeah. She's blocking shots on these yeah. young girls. She scores a basket and like celebrates it. The block shot's really funny. She just stands there and like, it's like an adult playing with his son. Just like, bam, they're in trouble. They all got fired. You know, at this level, if you need a body and it's like, hey, the coach is going to play. She's not going to shoot. If you only had four. But yeah, if you have enough players, that's a problem. And then you kind of, you can't get in the mix too much. She shouldn't have been celebrating and blocking shots no. like that. She's in trouble. She's out. Jake, can you tell me more about the sports? The more sports brought to you by DraftKings, where you can go gamble on sports. So, so many sports yeah. at DraftKings. Jim, I told you, it's Super Bowl week. But for every team except two, you're not in the Super Bowl every year. And so it starts becoming draft time. You know I love the draft. And Jim, they announced this year at the Combine, you can no longer ask draft prospects if their mothers are sex workers. Oh. Yeah, at the draft, they, they try to do all the put them in an awkward situation and see how they react. That's how you get the true merit of a man. And they've just gone way too far with it over the years that they're like, Basically, how rude can we be to kids without them complaining? And now it's finally come back. Do you know what your mother does for work? My mom's retired. Oh, has she ever had a job that you were embarrassed of? Um, no. You ever fuck her? My mom. I just lost a draft pick. Draft pick I, I think that would be an inappropriate Mark it question. down. He's down to six. Yeah, but I draft that guy still because I want motherfuckers on my team. Now the episode's NR17. All right. Whole room was clapping. Jim! Jake. Jim! Let me... Ask you about the Not Sports today. Not Sports is a good one. In Canada, they don't have punks to Tawny Phil. They got some dipshit named Fred, this groundhog that get your own animal, you know? If you're going to steal the, get your own animal. Anyway, unless Canada started this and we stole it, but either, whatever. I mean, we every country can't be predicting the winter by groundhogs. Jim, it's what groundhogs do, man. Get your own animal. Anyway, their, their groundhog, uh, Fred Lamarmot, died. The guy went to pull him out. Jimmy. To get the weather, and he was dead. They, they didn't check an hour, like, they didn't check the day before. This is your dream. It's hilarious. God damn it. I read up to Fred Lamarmet, and I was pretty happy for that. I did not see the next word was die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen to how the guy told... Damn it. Listen to how the Canadian guy told the crowd. Uh, it's one of the worst this groundhog has died speeches I've ever heard. <sighs> this year, things are going to happen completely differently. There's a famous saying that goes, in life, uh, there's only one certainty... Nothing's for certain, which isn't the saying, at least not in America. Well, this year, that has come true. It's true. It's unfortunate. 
I'm here to announce Fred's death. Have some compassion. In place of Fred, a group of children volunteered their services. And then they're replacing Fred with Fred's successor, Fred Jr. That's a lot. Of, that was made up on the fly. And thank God in America, it's been the same punks of Tony Phil all these years. But having kids act out the groundhog's job. I'm not about that. So Fred died. Fred Lamarmont. R.I.P. R.I.P. Frozen again. It's the employee of the week. Uh, I like the second one. Oh, yeah. Our, our maintenance man, <laughs> Luis. Yeah, Luis is very nice and helps run the building. Uh, we got a noise complaint for playing pickleball in the office the other day, and he came up and he's like, I don't. Expecting father. Luis. Do you think they're going to call him up, come see his face on the wall? Yes. He's going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I got it. Oh, I think he's going to understand. That's the show. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. The big game is finally here. Some people go to the big game parties for the chili, others for the chips and dip. Only those in the know are there for the real action. Action that can only be found on DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB. Bet $5 on the big game and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. What do they learn from that question? They just like that they get the ability Nothing, to ask man. it. Nothing, man. They like being powerful over, like, 20-year-old kids for yeah. 20 minutes. I can ask you anything I want yeah. right Asian now. interrogation. Can you ask if their dad is a sex worker? Found the loophole already. Is that an inappropriate question? Let's start a side business. Okay. Where we're the loophole police. Basically, and, and every, that's what MLB every, should hire Everyone us gives us a game or whatever they're doing, and yeah. we find the loopholes. That's what like we're that. good at. Yeah, I like that.